Hey everyone, hope you're okay. Um, so this morning I got an email asking um, to put some drums down to a track that a friend had done um, and they needed them quite sharpish. So I just thought I'd have a, a quick little walkthrough and show you the sort of thing that I do um, in this situation. So yeah, a friend of mine sent this through and said, you know, that they were going for sort of like an 80s kind of vibe to this. So um, I had a listen through to the track a few times, made some notes. Um, he had some ideas of some program drums that he sent me as well. So I sort of incorporated those um, with some of my own ideas. Um, and yeah, just got it all set up. Uh, I use Cubase, so just got it set up in there as a project. Had a couple of run throughs and um, decided just to do one take and, and see how it goes. And I think it came out okay. So let me just run through the kit setup first of all. So. If I bring you over here, all I'm using today, I've got my British Drum Company Legend Series kit, um, which is absolutely beautiful. I've had this about two years now. It's called Bruno, and it's been built for me. Um, it's absolutely stunning kit. It goes everywhere with me. I'm using their Merlin snare drum as well. Nice little touch. They put my, my names on there as well, which is quite nice. Uh, and then I'm using Media Symbols, um, so I've got some mixtures of sandblasted Comagenes, I've got a Dervish ride and a Comagene. Um, on my snare drum I'm using, um, actually what I've done, I'll show you this, on my snare drum, because I wanted that really deep fat um, snare sound, actually what I've done is use a normal, em normal Emperor and then cut out a second Emperor, which gives it a really low fat sound which is kind of quite cool and then over the top I've used this Keo, Keo percussion uh, tambourine snare as well um, also on the on the toms I'm using Remo Weather King Emperors although I don't think I actually hit a single tom in this song and on the kick drum I'm using this Power Stroke 3 and I use a DW9000 um, hardware as well um, mic wise uh, I've got just uh, 57 on my snare drum, these PG-56s on the, on the toms, and then I have these uh, PG-81s as my overheads. And what kick drum did I use today? That's a very good question. Sometimes you forget these things. It is a PG-25. Um, yeah, and all of this, it's a really simple setup in my room. I just have this uh, Zoom R16, which everything goes into. And then from that point, it runs over there, over to my little workstation. So anyway, that's kind of my setup. I'm gonna just have a little play through it now. And um, yeah, I'll put it up and see how we go.
So yeah, uh, in terms of um, what's come out, I'm I'm pretty chuffed with it. I mean, it's at the moment it's completely unmixed, um, obviously unmastered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the files back uh, to my friend, who can then start to layer on top of it what what he needs to do for the final song, uh, and then he can mix it, and um, then it will get mastered. And hopefully, this is going to be part of a probably a six song EP, which will come out, who knows when. Hopefully, you know, maybe in the autumn time, something like that. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I love doing these sort of projects. It's kind of fun just to get in there and uh, play something a bit different. So, yeah, enjoy. I hope you're all okay and see you soon. Bye. No break, no break.